Hey everyone, this is Dawn and welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness, it's been a little bit since I have posted, so I am very excited to come on today. I hope everybody is doing well. And I did want to take just a moment, you know, I was looking at YouTube this morning and I came across a new um, Christmas song by Francesca Battistelli, and I'm going to leave it linked in the description box below uh, if you want to check it out. And it's called Behold Him. And oh my goodness, it just brought tears to my eyes. I texted it to my girls and I texted it to my family. And my sister was like, why are you making me cry? But you know, it's a, a, a new song, I think. And it's whether you are missing someone, experiencing a loss, acknowledging tough times of the year, whether you've not had a job or just in general, um, but it's all about keeping your eyes on him. And some of the chorus was when, um, when you're in your silent night and your everything is not all right and uh, lift your eyes to him, I think, and behold him, something to that effect. And oh my goodness, it just, it just got me right in the heart. So I just thought I would share. Um, it's been a tough year, even COVID aside for us. Um, it's going to be a modest Christmas here and that's okay. And it's, you know, we are family and friends and faith and just remembering the reason for the season. So I just wanted to share that for a minute. I definitely appreciate you guys coming along and watching for sure. Um, Y'all mean a lot and I appreciate you. Um, I did want to share a couple of Christmas cards that I received some for some friends. I still have some cards to mail out, have not had a chance. Um, and actually this weekend, there's not much of a chance either. We have, uh, as you know, we've been dealing with some elder care and my mom is now living with us and we have sold her modest little home and um, uh, we just need to finalize the detail. So we're going to be m finalizing um, getting her moved out and getting a storage unit and the wrapping up some of those things this weekend. So there's been a lot on our plate and that's okay. You got to get some things done. So first off, I need to share this card from Paige and I, I want to share how she... Um, sent this in the mail so I opened up this envelope and then there's the little note and she's wishing me a Christmas and she's just really so sweet in her words and Paige, Paige a stamp girl if you are not familiar you'll find her channel linked in the description box below such a, a, a beautiful um, lady and a, a wonderful crafty lady uh, she just I love her cards and uh, so how she packaged it and she also left it with this note so that I could reuse it and then inside the envelope that's how I took it out and then when you open it up you know there's some layers and things here so I love how she mailed that where the flat sides um, of course were on the outside and then the inside or yeah well the front of the card was folded up on the inside and look at how lovely so Paige I appreciate that so much Merry Christmas to you and yours and then next um, I have a card from corn at cornflower crafts and you'll find her linked below as well she sent me another card some months ago that my craft roommate which was the most lovely thing and corn I apologize it meant so much to me as do these cards from wonderful friends um, this card is gorgeous and I have to share also how she um, uh, sent this is there was this card inside of this envelope and then it was inside of this is a Tyvek envelope I don't know where she got these from but uh, th that is very very cool so maybe something um, to look out for and if corn if you want to share let us know where you got these that's awesome unless she made it herself um, so let me share the card oh my gosh these colors speak to me and I wonder if this is a little birdie or um, at least this piece I, I adore these colors so you see the beautiful little winter scene little cottage scene the pink roses we both adore pink roses and uh, oh my goodness the turquoise the metallic some glitter paper I adore this little touch here and this card is um oh and I think it's okay to show the inside as well yeah she's wish wishing a merry christmas and blessings and blessings to you and your family corn as well so i don't know is that a trifold card i don't know what you call it look at that gorgeousness how that is and then the sentiment is here 
handmade by corn and actually if I look at the back of pages oh she doesn't have a stamp but that's okay um but yeah lovely corn thank you thank you thank you corn and page from the bottom of my heart so I really appreciate that and then I've got a few other things to share there's a small haul here first off I got a card from a lady at work a very nice lady and um had a little puppy dog. It's the card itself is on the wall at work. Um, but I loved this envelope. So it's a plain white envelope. And of course it's printed down here. And the back with all the red and white stripe, you know, you can recreate something like that with washi tape or um, um, papers and things. So I'm going to stick that in my journal stash. <laughs> I loved this envelope. So that was really sweet. Might be silly, but I thought I would share it. And another lady I work with, Nicole. Hello, if you are watching. Um, she um, has discovered a love of paper crafting and we've been sharing ideas and it's fun to have you know someone near you because probably you guys are like um, uh, we're, I think we're probably all alike it's like we don't necessarily have friends near us that kind of get us weird paper crafters and um, we she discovered um, you know all the uh, oh gosh what is art by Marlene and um, she had got two of the newer um, die cut books so she gave me a few pages of them and I was like oh my goodness how cute I think they're from the the more Arabians love the camels makes me think of hope day um, but I love this little girl so I can create love this cat um, and these butterflies were awfully fun I'm not a huge butterfly person but um, I really love these large die cuts so she gave me a few of those so thank you Nicole and I want to create something with those and then I've got a small haul here um, I finally picked up the Christmas snarky cats I have not had time oh I'm sorry for that glare I had time to use them yet so every time I've wanted to purchase these I know that they did like a limited edition with Stampin' Up and then um, they then I saw these on scrapbook.com and they were sold up. So I was um, scrolling through eBay and I decided to look for them on eBay. And this set was probably uh, just about $20, you know. There are a lot of stamps and of course they're the red rubber. Um, and then I think the place that I ordered from had like $3 shipping. So the whole thing was about $23. And these snarky cats, there's a regular set, there's a Halloween set. I just love them. They make me chuckle. I do have an idea to make some tags with these. And these, they're, they're a good size, these cats are. These are not small images which as I'm looking at them I'm like oh I'm gonna have to make a bigger tag <laughs> but anyways I just love those I'm excited to get them and I'm excited to play with them and then I picked this up a little while back at Target um it's a Christmas list and I thought that would be great I really wanted to put together a Christmas journal for myself this year using that um, I think it's Simple Stories North Pole Vintage North Pole, I think it is, and I have not had a chance, but this is from that Hearth and Hand. It was $4, 30 pages, but I love this Christmas list, um, just a pad, so I picked that up when I was there, I don't know, a little while back, and then I stopped in Dollar Tree recently, which I had not really done, and I really try to avoid buying uh, Dollar Tree stickers. I have so many, but I love these little penguins. They were calling my name. So cute. I love the guy with the little fish above his head and this one here that's sleeping. So cute. <laughs> the little dancing ones. That could be fun to do some simple tags. Um, heck, I still haven't even sent my grandson his uh, grandsons their um, cards. So I could even make one for my little five-year-old grandson with this. And then I thought this was really pretty and I loved just these um, florals up here. You guys might be aware, but um, I have not looked in a while. And I picked up this sticker set as well, which I love words on um, journal pages, index cards, tags, whatever. So I really loved these sentiments. I'm not as, don't really use alpha as much, but I really liked this page. And I like these florals as well. So anyways, a couple sticker packs I picked up from um, Dollar Tree. And then here's another online purchase. Anna White. I've watched Anna White's actually blog, read that. Oh gosh, from back in the day. I love her homespun style. Um, she has a blog. I've mentioned her before, but she has also started making YouTube videos again. So if you're not familiar, I'm going to link, link her channel in the description box below. Um, her and Jill Norwood, I know are YouTube friends. I don't know about in real life or not, but oh my goodness, they have a similar style and I love her aesthetic. She is a stamp designer. She's designing, I know right now for Impression Obsession, but I love the glitter her cards have. And I 
I was not familiar with this. So this is a spray glitter dust. I have not got to play with it yet. And I ordered it in silver because um, I saw her use this one day and I'm like, oh, what is that? So that will give an overall light glitter dusting to your um, paper. It says extremely flammable. So watch out for that. Um, a clear spray with an ultra fine glitter. And uh, so that is very cool. I'm excited to have that. And this can was six or seven dollars I think and then of course some bucks for shipping I, I can't remember where I ordered this from the, it is a ThermaWeb product um, actually I think I ordered it right from their site because they were all out and then I saw that the silver one came in there's also a gold and I think a holographic too but it's a fine glitter dust so I'm excited to try that and then last but not least I have a small scrapbook.com haul and there's just one or two things in here that are Christmas so I ordered this sometime around the end of November and then it was shipped out on December 1st um, but it showed that it was never accepted at the post office so you know and I know mail's been taking longer and that kind of thing so I um, reached out to them um, uh, I guess it was earlier in the week and I asked them if they could check on the status of the order because I didn't really know was it on their side or the post office side I think the post office side and uh, so they sent me what it showed on the post office side which I already knew on their tracking so um, they said well we're gonna go ahead and consider it lost and would you like a refund or um, we can replace your order I was like oh I would love it if you would replace my order so I came home yesterday and the package had been delivered so they sent it out two-day priority and uh, they fixed this issue right away and oh my goodness I'm just thrilled so one of the main reasons I had ordered was this art journal stamp set it is by Elizabeth Craft Designs, and uh, I loved these words, and they kind of make me think in the mixed media way. Um, beauty, relax, there's text, summer journal, see, peaceful, sunshine, create, you know, I love some tropical and summer vibes. There's like a little definition here of artsy pants, that's so funny, um, sea salt, and uh, creative freedom. But I love these. Sorry for that glare again. I love these. I'm excited to use those. And I hope they stamp well. I don't always love clear stamps. I'm more partial to red rubber, but I think these are going to be great. And then um, I picked up um, this sticker set. I, you know, my tropical vibes. That's mostly what this order is. Um, I loved these vintage looking stickers. And this is on a large 12 by 12 shark cracks me up my, my kids love like shark week and all of that um the welcome to paradise little this guy here the flamingo aren't these just fun state of mind living the dream salt water heals everything getting freaky the tiki so funny but how fun are these and i only ordered one sheet so i don't know if these were stuck together or if they gave me an extra one or not but i actually ended up with two of them and uh so very cool <laughs> i was very excited that those came and this is a simple story so i don't have this paper line but i love these type of stickers you see how they are with the little clips i know i have these in thanksgiving and a christmas and maybe even a c version i need to play with these more but um i love these stickers by simple stories and i've been eyeballing this one for a while like i said i don't have the that that paper collection but oh my goodness i love these and um anyways excited about those look at the little birdies here on the bottom so cute so cute the doily I love how they do these. And then this, I was excited. I was not familiar with this collection. Maybe you were. I was not. So I got, I ordered three sheets of this 12 by 12. This is what it's on the back side. And it's kind of like a Hawaiian theme, but you know, those tropical and uh, vibes I adore. It's got Hawaii surf, sun and fun. But this is from the Prima um, surfboard collection. Um, they had... Was it a six by six paper pad? I can't really remember. So it was only like five designs and you got six sheets of each, but I didn't love the whole paper collection and I was really liking the 12 by 12. So I ordered this, this um, 12 by 12 and then I ordered this page as well. Again, it's just got the Hawaii surf and I just think it is just fun vibes. And actually I really love the back of this one. I love the stripe and the colors and, um, how they did that that kind of distressed and the colors I don't know I just love that background Oop, the little lid popped off my 
my glue back there. So yeah, again, Prima Surfboard Collection. I was not familiar. I don't know if there's a year on this. Mm, I don't really see one. It's probably there. They're probably looking at me in the face. But anyways, those are fun collections. And then the last but not least, a couple of Christmassy items I picked up. This is from Dear Santa Collection. I loved this page of tags. So I did grab that. So cute because I've been thinking ahead to Christmas journaling. It's just a plaid on the side. And Dear Santa, who's the, it's by Cartabella, this collection is. So really, really cute. And then last but not least, this is from A Very Merry Christmas Cartabella. I have always wanted to order this um, collection, but I never have. I've got pieces and parts of it. And this is again a 12 by 12 sheet. And I love how the Santa and the reindeer is working here. But um, in my head, I can kind of see a journal this way with him on the bottom and him on the top. But then I realize it's a whole 12 by 12, so I'm not sure how I want to make that work. But uh, anyways, I will figure it out. But I don't know. This reindeer was just kind of cracking me up. And I don't know. It was just cute. Uh, Santa's up there on his little trapeze and the reindeer's kind of working the rope system here <laughs> the little ornaments. I just think that's adorable. But anyways, I have to figure out how I want to um, utilize that. Alright, I think that is all I have to share. Um, I did thrift a couple of things yesterday. I stopped in Goodwill on my way home from work just to wander around. So I might come back with um, um, a video of that. So I hope you guys are all preparing for Christmas. Um, remember, check out that song below and be prepared to cry if you're a softie. But I don't know, it just did my heart good just to remind you um, when all of the troubles uh, of life, um, no matter what is going on around, and all of the chaos swirling. Let's just remember the reason for the season and just lift your eyes, keep your eyes on him. That will, um, you know, keep keep you in balance. Let the chaos all be around here and you just try to stay focused. Much easier said than done. But anyways, check out that song. All right, guys, thanks for coming along and watching as always. Would love it if you give me a thumbs up. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to everyone. And uh, I guess I will see you in the next video. Until next time.